Hello, oh, this is Johnson Hall. Welcome to the Omron's Quick Tip Video Series. This particular video we're going to talk about the NJ SQL controller and stored procedures. A quick answer is the NJ SQL cannot send data directly to a stored procedure. The stored procedure is a program within the SQL server. But what it can do is send the data to a dummy table and then that table has a trigger and the trigger basically has the exact same code as stored procedure and you accomplish the same task. Now for a longer answer. Stored procedures are used when you want to send the data in one chunk to this database and then the stored procedure checks the data, splits it up and sends it to different tables. It's a little bit more efficient than the PLC opening up a lot of tables and trying to send the data to all of them. Base. So in our two-step process, instead we're going to take all the data and send it to a dummy table that we make up. And then what we're going to do is the trigger within it can either call the stored procedure or, since it's actually the same thing, you could put all the code right in the trigger. And here's what's going on. We give the trigger a name. We tell it on what database it's executing. So in this particular case, we're saying if anything happens to table two, we wish to run this program. My first constraint is I said only if it's an insert or update command, not a delete or a search, am I going to do anything? And I have a second constraint. I only want to run this piece of code if the quantity actually got updated. In this particular case, quantity is not allowed to be a null. If for some reason I sent a null piece of data, this piece of code would stop executing right here. The advantage of this is if I have multiple tables, sometimes I don't want the data to go to any table if it's invalid. So I can catch that right here, and before I send the data anywhere, I've already caught the error and stopped executing the code. Basically what happens after that is I have to get some local variables set up. I have to declare them. Then what I can do is I can select, in this case, uh, data from the field quantity of the recently inserted data into this table too, shove it in my temporary register, and in my case I multiplied it by 10 just to make sure it was working, and then I can insert it into table 3, that variable. Now table 3 only has one variable, therefore I didn't have to specify what field the data was going to. But you can quickly see that I can go from um, one variable to many tables. I can put each field in a different table. I can put in checks on my data. And this is basically what you were trying to accomplish with the stored procedure. Thank you for listening. Hope that helps and good luck.